Now I should be here in New Zealand. Or as we say in America, where? <laughs> I like you guys, I like how laid back you are. I think you must have taken your lead off your, your fauna, your flightless birds. How laid back do you have to be to be a bird that doesn't want to fly anymore? <laughs> That's relaxed, man. <laughs> Multi-award winning comedian and country singer Wilson Dixon is back on our shores for the New Zealand International Comedy Festival. He's also taking his first solo national tour around the country. He has stopped in now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Wilson. Yes, Thank you welcome. very much. Thank you. Thank what you. a pleasure. Now, for nice maybe, to be here. maybe those who aren't familiar with you, um, yeah. who doesn't know, tell us a little bit about your background. You were born in Cripple Creek, Colorado. Yeah, yeah it's a little town up there in the Rocky Mountains. And uh, big family, you know, got a mom, pa, and four brothers and a sister. There's, uh, there's eight or nine of us. <laughs> and uh, a whole lot of uncles. <laughs> uncle Cletus, he's probably my favorite uncle. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. What was life like growing up in Colorado? Uh, pretty quiet, yeah. not a lot of news, not a lot of uh, contact with the outside world. Right. Which, you know, is good and bad, mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. Yeah, so how did you make it in the music business? What happened? Well, you know, I just started like, playing music in the country, you know, and it wasn't until later on that I realized that I was playing country music, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, I guess I just wanted to kind of take it around and share my stories and share my songs with the people. And the Do you have lots of groupies or female fans? How do you deal with them? Uh, well, no, not really. Like, I mean, you know, I, like I'm, I'm fond of, of women, obviously, mm -hmm. but uh, my ex-wife, Maureen, she's kind of cast a big shadow over my life, you know. She still lives next door to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she ran off with another man, but she, you know, didn't run very far. She just to the neighbor's house. It wasn't a fitness issue. She could have gone further, right. quite a fit woman. Yeah. Yes. But uh, she didn't. She just st lived with Dwayne, who was mm. the neighbor. He's a carpet salesman. We Dwayne and Maureen. Did you, did you yeah. write a song about her? I did write a song. I've written a, I re wrote a whole album of songs yeah. about her, my third album, uh, uh, which is called, should, am I allowed to say this? Just go ahead and do it. My third yeah. album, which is called uh, Love Don't Live Here Anymore. You mm -hmm. do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We gonna, we gonna do you want to play a little, can you play us a little bit of Maureen or a little bit of the song that you wrote for Maureen? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, this song's called uh, The Time for Talking is Being and Gone. Oh, good. The time for talking is being and gone. No use singing that same old song. Well, you're singing in B-flat and I'm in F. <laughs> Winning first prize for the world's worst duet. <laughs> the time for talking is been and gone. El tiempo de habla ha sido y ha ido. <laughs> which is the same thing, but in Espanol. <laughs> which is the language that may have been speaking considering your lack of engagement in the conversation. <laughs> the time for talking is been and gone. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, shouldn't throw them either in a normal house. <laughs> Stop coming in over and stone. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little bit emotional. I no, I yeah. no, understand. I love, I love how you take, you know, what you've observed in the world and yeah. you put it into song. And yeah. you must observe a lot when you come to New Zealand. But is yeah. this your first tour of New Zealand? It's my first solo tour. Yeah, look, I've done like four or five like tours with other folks. Right. But this is the first time that I've done it. Oh, out on your own. Yeah, by myself. Yeah, yeah. But you do spend a bit of time in New Zealand, don't you? I do. I like coming over here. Yeah, what is it about it that you like so much? Well, it's uh, I like how laid back everybody is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how, uh, which suits me, you know, and uh, I like that is uh, to come and sort of just chill out a little bit. And like your, your show's called The Cafe, mm. yes. and uh, which is good because there's a lot of cafes here. I think you've almost all got about one each now. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, and uh, I think you're, you need it because if you guys didn't have a lot of coffee going through you, the country would just be asleep, <laughs> pretty much. 
think it's good that more coffee, even, yeah, it's good for you. you know. um, I, I love how you give advice. Too. Is it more yeah. knowledge or wisdom? What, what do you reckon? Well, I think wisdom is more important, to, okay. be, to be honest with you. I think right. knowledge is something that we can all have, but wisdom is something that you need, like it's a skill you need to develop, you know what I mean? Right, okay, so there is a difference, isn't there? I think there? so, mm. yeah. Okay, no, no, nice. Have you ever tried, like, a different kind of music genre? Did you try, have you branched out into anything else, or just country? Well, uh, the jazz music, for example, is something that I've, uh, I'm kind of a little bit interested in, but I don't love it. I don't love jazz, you know. It's okay, but uh, it's around quite a bit, like in elevators. You've got to get used to it if, you, if you're staying in a hotel. There's a <laughs> lot do. of it playing just along the hallways and, and things like that. <laughs> so, you know, why resist it, you know? But I think jazz is something that, it must be fun playing it, but I think that uh, it's a little bit like making love. You know, jazz. It's it's better to be doing it than to be listening to other people. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. That and is that is true. the difference between knowledge and wisdom. That's right. True. That's yeah. right. So, what are you doing after the comedy festival? Uh, I'm going to go back home to Cripple mm -hmm. Creek, and because uh, the summer, you know, it's going it's the summer over there, and uh, all the bears be waking up, and you know, the, the spring flowers and all that kind of thing. And, it's going to be nice, it's a good time of year. <laughs> Are you going anywhere else? You're going over, you know, to other parts of yeah, the world? Yeah, I'm going to the, the London in uh, June. Awesome. For a couple of weeks, yeah, doing uh, some shows there and all around Scotland and things like wow. that. Wow, so. how do you think they're going to welcome you, as well as we do? Yeah, I think so. They're a little bit more uptight, the English. Right. But, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're good. They like country music. That's yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. you know, so. That's why they need you there. That's right. Help loosen them up a bit. <laughs> Make them just relax. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just relax. Just oh, relax. Excellent. Oh, yeah, and well, really excited about your show for the Comedy Fest. Yeah. Really looking forward to seeing that. And right. uh, I encourage heaps of people to go and see that because you are brilliant, my friend. You're going to stick around right. and give us a bit of a song? Like, I will. Oh, I'll right. do that for excellent. sure. Excellent. We would love to hear that. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll give you some time to write it if yeah. you want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wilson Dixon is going to be performing for us a little later on this morning. And you can check out the Comedy Festival and Event Finder websites for details about his show, which he is touring across the country.